Dude, I don't get why PlayStation doesn't just have an Elite controller for sale. Xbox has their own Elite controller. Why wouldn't PlayStation have their own Elite controller? Are you recording right now? Yeah, audio test. Well, everybody at PlayStation, get on your game. Xbox has their own controller with paddles, the Elite. Get your own Elite controller. We can stop worrying about all these freaking issues. It's freaking ridiculous, bro. Okay, Scuff, we got a problem. The new Vantage controller is not functioning the way that it's supposed to function, but we also have a lot of new issues cropping up from all possible angles. For anyone who got my initial review, you know that it is unsponsored and unbiased, meaning that I paid for this controller myself. I'm in no way sponsored by Scuff. I really wanna say immediately, Scuff, that I love you guys. I am not attacking you, and please don't be mad at me for trying to bring people the truth about your product and the issues that are being found in it and why people are returning it left and right. To this day, I still use my Scuff Infinity for PS Pro. I love this controller. It is my go-to for every single time that I stream. It has served me flawlessly and I've had it for well over a year and a half. So please don't think for a second that I'm just attacking you as a company. I'm attacking the fact that people are spending their hard-earned time and money when you know that there's an issue with your product and there should probably be a full-on recall. I know that's a really, really bold statement, but we're going to provide a lot of evidence and feedback from you guys in my previous review. The initial issues that I found with my controller were that my Bluetooth was not working whatsoever. I couldn't turn on my console using only the controller and that my remappings weren't saving when I remap my paddles or side access buttons. Every single time I turned on the controller, I had to remap it again. I've never had to remap this Scuff Infinity 4 PS Pro. Sad to say that the new Scuff Vantage was not working in that aspect. But we had a lot more issues just start to come out of the woodwork. People saying that their controllers were turning on and off by themselves, which is funny because I cannot wirelessly turn on my Scuff Vantage at all. People saying that there were dead zones in the joysticks, which is a huge issue and makes this completely non-competitive in the gaming field. We had reports of controllers losing connection mid-game even when wired, controllers having an awkward input lag that was so noticeable that it was completely unplayable. We even had people who had returned their scuff multiple times and gotten new Vantage controllers and still having the exact same issue. So what that tells me right out of the gate is that this product was not ready to come into the user's hands. And I say that because the controllers released a month later as far as I know, everyone didn't get the customizations that they ordered with their controllers. Keep in mind, Scuff did send an apology. Scuff said they would send out the customizations as soon as they could and that it would be within 40 days. But these are things that we shouldn't have to deal with. And I say that because your controller is $170 for the wired only model and $200 for the wireless and wired model. And that's not counting if you pay the extra $30 for customization. I felt like I had to make this rapid follow-up video and warn people about this product because you shouldn't have to go through what everyone else is going through if we can learn from other people's purchases. And that's really the whole point of the honest review. I would rather save you guys the time and money and frustration than have to deal with what I've had to deal with with this controller. I found it extremely interesting that when I looked at the Scuff sponsored reviews of people who received the PR package with all the extras, I didn't hear a single negative thing about this controller. Never did I hear about anything not working properly. Never did I hear about Bluetooth issues, sticking joysticks, losing connection while gaming. None of that. I didn't hear anything out of Scuff sponsored reviews and that's really sad because I would hope that people would be honest with their viewers and tell them the truth about the products that they're bringing forward to them. And when you don't do that, it's a great disappointment to them. I wanna thank you for your support in my honesty. Even though Scuff's probably gonna be mad at me for this review, I feel like I'm doing the right thing and that I'm telling people the truth about the product. If you value this honesty, I do challenge you to share this video and possibly help other people save their time and money as well. You can also support the channel by liking, subscribing, and possibly turning on notifications. We cover a wide variety of cool tech, not just gaming related, so thank you so much for being here and supporting the channel. I'm gonna go ahead and say it, I'm returning my scuff vantage. I don't like the way it performs. I don't find these side access buttons to be of real use. The reason I say that is I found myself hitting them on accident all the time. I didn't cover this in my initial review, but these side access buttons are are removable but even when you remove the side access button it's still very very easy to click this actuator right here and I really don't find that I need them or want them in my custom gaming controller the reason I think people are having so many issues with this controller is because it is not built off of a base Sony PlayStation controller 
like previous scuffs before it. Real quick, we're gonna cover the biggest issue, possible dead zone in the joysticks. We're gonna test this with four controllers, a base model Sony PlayStation 4 controller, which I did some customizations on with an extreme rate kit, but it's still just a standard Sony PlayStation controller. The AIM custom gaming controller, which is built off of a base model Sony PlayStation controller. The new Scuff Vantage. And then the cherry on top is going to be testing whether or not the Scuff Infinity 4PS Pro has any possible dead zone in the joysticks. Just so we're clear, dead zone in the joysticks means that there's an area where I can move my joystick, but I'm not getting any response on screen to my input. If you are getting dead zone in your joysticks, you are at a disadvantage like you would not possibly believe. Your aim is going to be off. You're going to notice it right away. So starting off with the PlayStation standard controller, if I ever so slightly move my aim stick just a fraction, it, yeah, we're moving. There's zero dead zone in these sticks. I just barely touch it at all and we're moving. God, they're so sensitive. I barely touch it and we're starting to move. So there is zero dead zone in the standard Sony PlayStation sticks. As you can see, if I move this even a fraction, yeah, our aim is moving. Next up is the aim controller. Let's have a look and see if we have any dead zone. Going to move this just a fraction. Yeah, we're moving immediately. Zero dead zone. Yep. Next up is the Scuff Vantage, which is built from the ground up by Scuff. We're right there at the tip of the pole. I'm just ever so slightly going to pull. Yep, it's not moving. That's dead zone right there, guys. You see me moving this thumbstick, and it's not going anywhere. And once I get it past a certain point, I'm still moving. Oh, now we got movement. That's what dead zone is right there. You see me moving this? You see that? And we're not going anywhere on screen? Yep. That's dead zone. I don't know if they've changed the parts that they're using for the joystick. I should not be able to wiggle this at all and not get movement, guys. This should be moving right now. And if I plug in any other controller and do any type of movement on the thumbstick at all, we get movement. I don't know if they've changed their parts or what. The cherry on top, guys, is going to be the Scuff Infinity 4PS Pro. This controller is a year and a half old, and I use it to this day. I'm just ever so slightly going to pull it. We got movement right away. Yep, barely budging. There it is. Barely budging. Yep, this feels just like standard Sony PlayStation controller. The only one that had dead zone was the Scuff Vantage, guys. There you have it. Sad to say that there is dead zone in the joysticks, and now everything makes a lot more sense. My very, very first stream with this Scuff Vantage controller, I was super hyped to be playing on it and to try it out and to show my stream what I was experiencing with it. Right out of the gate, I was mentioning that my aim felt off. I thought maybe it was because it was an Xbox layout and I'm not used to playing on Xbox controllers. I've been playing on PlayStation controllers for years and I thought maybe this is just gonna take some getting used to. But now, thankfully to whoever commented saying, have you not seen this giant area of dead zone in the joysticks, thank you so much for saying that in the comment section because now upon testing it i realized i'm not just trash at the game there's actual dead zone in my joystick and when i went back to using my scuff infinity 4ps immediately i noticed a difference in my aim and accuracy and everything was back to me poning scrubs like i'm supposed to be really sucks because my stream was calling me trash the whole time i was using the freaking controller immediately after returning this scuff vantage controller i'm going to be ordering and paying for a scuff impact controller and i'm going to do a full-blown review on that controller also scuff i want to extend an invitation to you whenever you feel like you've gotten the controller exactly where you want it to be as far as its fit form and function to send me one out to review and to show everyone that you have fixed the target issues and we will test it and show it in a video and then we can move on and say that you've created a dynamic product in the gaming market but until then i cannot stand by this product and i have to let people know the reality of the situation i know that they're trying to deal with the overwhelming amount of issues that they have going on with it but overall it's just not what it's supposed to to be and people shouldn't be spending their time and money when they're only going to end up with frustrations and not trusting your company further. As a community, I feel like it's our job to look out for each other and be honest and transparent about issues that we find. If this has helped you in your decision making process, please like, subscribe, and share the content. Possibly turn on notifications. We do stream regularly and we have a lot of awesome reviews lined up for you guys on cool gaming equipment as well as just cool tech in general. And Scuff, please don't hate me. I'm just trying to tell people the truth about the issues that I've come across and the overwhelming amount of evidence of people who have told me their issues with the scuff vantage as well as just the amount of people who have said that they're returning the product. This has been another honest review. No nonsense, no BS, straight to the point. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. That's it for me. Peace.